over the last few days activity has picked up at Yellowstone National Park. Data has shown us that over 70 earthquakes have hit Yellowstone and the surrounding areas. The recent activity has created discussions online, with some people worried about the increased activity, while others have said it's nothing to worry about. One question that's been on the mind of many who's been following this activity is what effect is it having on the volcano, and is an eruption going to happen? One of the most recent things that people have picked up on is the ground has shifted upwards. People have compared older images of Yellowstone and new ones, and has said that an upshift has happened underneath Yellowstone. Users also said that it looks like the Dome of Old Faithful has risen as well. One of the explanations for this could be the flow of magma is moving beneath Yellowstone. What's interesting about this is that the United States Geological Survey said the area should be dropping, not rising, yet the images appear to show that it's bulging outwards. This detail wasn't picked up on by many people, but they've said that once you place an old and new photograph side by side, you can see there is quite a big difference. Interestingly, one geologist came forward a few years back and gave an update about Yellowstone, and that increased activity at Yellowstone could be an early warning. Hank Hester was a Yellowstone geologist, and he announced that an eruption at the supervolcano was going to happen. Back in 2014, a huge swarm of earthquakes hit the region, with the number being around 1,900. This increase in activity worried many people and officials, with even the White House allegedly getting involved. Various websites were able to gain access to information from a source that worked at Yellowstone, and they reported that the White House ordered the United States Geological Survey to suppress information about the earthquakes that were hitting the region. Interestingly, this document is making the rounds once again, as some have said that the recent earthquakes hitting Yellowstone are being downplayed, with some users saying that it's not a coincidence that some of the data is missing. The report in the individual went on to detail that ancient helium beneath Yellowstone is now leaking into the Earth's atmosphere. Interestingly, since the swarm of earthquakes are trending, some people have come forward in detail things that many aren't aware of, for example, one user said that a family friend works close to Yellowstone, and said that if a swarm of earthquakes comes in and hits the region, they will go out of their way to not list every earthquake that hit the area. He said this is a common thing that happens within the United States Geological Survey, saying that if a dozen or so is listed, the number is usually much higher. He even said that when a big swarm of them comes in, they may even switch off certain sensors especially the ones that are being hit the most. This is in order to hide the true amount of earthquakes that are coming in. Of course, the United States Geological Survey would deny such claims, and it's important to note that this comment was made by some random person on the internet, but it's interesting how others who live close to the region have said that there's been many earthquakes over the last few days, and yet some of them are not appearing on the sensors even after people have come forward and said they felt them. Simulations have shown that if the Yellowstone supervolcano did erupt, it wouldn't just mean trouble for the United States, but it could set off a chain of reactions across the country that would definitely go on to affect the rest of the world. It's predicted that the massive amount of forces and pressure released by the volcano will trigger other pockets of magma to release nearby, in quick forming shafts that will grow in size throughout the volcano's eruption. Though scientists are aware of the fact that the eruption of a volcano cannot trigger the eruption of nearby volcanoes, in the event of a supervolcano and its eruption, the incredibly large amount of forces and material buildup will lead to a pocket of nearby magma vents to form, creating a number of normal volcanic entities that will also spew out a large amount of volcanic materials. Though technically speaking, the Yellowstone supervolcano is not triggering other dormant volcanoes, it will continue to form these vents, which will grow in size, and will appear to be similar to that of the smaller volcanoes having formed. 
It's also believed that with a large enough tectonic plate shift caused by the overwhelming seismic activities that will be caused by the forces of the eruption, a number of large events could form along the ridges of the shifting tectonic planes. If these plates shift enough, not only would there be a number of massive earthquakes, but there could be a number of newly formed volcanic entities all along the entire west coast. In essence, this means that the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would lead to a number of following eruptions, newly formed magma vents, and a domino effect of seismic activity that could cause the formation of new active volcanoes all along the entire west coast of the United States, of which will only exacerbate the issue that spawned from ejected material, damage and spewing ash. Larry Mastin, a United States Geological Survey scientist, recently worked on a paper. It detailed the effects the ash would have on our planet after the eruption. He said the following, We used a duration that ranged from three days to one month, and an umbrella cloud height that ranged from around 15 to 35 kilometers, or 9 to 18 miles. The test showed that most of North America would be buried in ash. The fallout would include short-term destruction of Midwest agriculture, and rivers and streams would be clogged by grey mark. So what do you guys make of Yellowstone National Park? Do you think the supervolcano is going to erupt any time soon? And what do you make of the dome uplift that was detected at the park? And what do you make of the swarm of earthquakes that have been coming in? Do you think this is something we should worry about? Or do you think this is normal? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.